Planet Dolan. From dated pop culture references to painful misspellings, we count 25 of the dumbest names parents have given their children. Is your name on here? Number 25. ESPN. In 2007, television sports superfans David and Karen Hartley voluntarily named their son ESPN. After being inspired by others who had done the same, they originally planned to name him Reed ESPN, but when he was born, he looked more like an ESPN. Whatever the hell that means, God, please help this kid if he sucks at sports. Number 24. Alucard. Like an Alcarte breakfast, but it's actually Dracula backwards. Sorry, parents, but vampires are so 2009. It's werewolf mutant sheepdogs now. Number 23. Billion. What does it say about our priorities that we're naming our children Cash and Rich, not short for Richard and Dollar? Well, as of 2014, we're now taking the money references to the extreme and calling kids Billion, Million, a Million. I guess at least Billion can be nicknamed Bill or Billy. Obviously, Billion is going to win in a schoolyard fight against Million, but it's anyone's fight when that tough new kid Trillion moves in from out of the town. Number 22. Hashtag. Isn't this tweet... <sighs> People, people, people. In 2012, a year that saw the birth of a children named after Kindles, Gangnam Style, and Steve Jobs, this mother lowered the bar for all of society by naming her baby Hashtag, implying she spent the length of her pregnancy staring at her iPhone. Funny enough, she posted Hashtag's birth announcement on Facebook, which at the time didn't even support Hashtag's. Hashtag fail. Hashtag fail. Number 21. Pac. This name sounds like a pinball machine sound effect or someone from Brooklyn trying to say pork. Needless to say, I balk at it. I'm sure the schoolyard bullies will too. Number 20. Hell's L. Apparently this name is a compromise between two new parents. The mother really wanted the new wholesome Hazel and the father wanted something that would honor his love of the Hell's Angels biker club. They settled on Hell's L. So now no one wins. Number 19. Amy. You know how there are classic names like Amy that sound refined and elegant? Well, this generation of parents think shitting on tradition is two thumbs up cool. They want something classy, but also have this compulsion to spray their stench of individuality all over it, which is how you end up with a stupid bastardization of perfectly decent names. I'm talking about Z's instead of S's and throwing redundant Y's everywhere. Amy takes this trend to the extreme with ugly phonetic spelling. It's like the number eight had a demented love child with the word chimney. Burn it with fire! Number 18. I'm unique. A bank teller stumbled across this strange sounding name on the client sheet. It sounds interesting and exotic, European by way of high fantasy, but it's actually just the words I'm and unique jammed together. I guess it does what it says on the box. Number 17. Cherish. This name clearly came about when a nurse barged into the room and said, we waited long enough. You have to name your child now. And the mother looked around in panic, saw an empty hospital chair and said, uh, cherish. Number 16. Tulala does the Hulu from Hawaii. Two zany New Zealanders call their daughter Tulala does the Hulu from Hawaii, and she grew up too embarrassed to tell anyone. In 2008, the parents formally split up and ended up in court battling for custody. It was there the horrified judge noticed the daughter's name and ordered they change it to save her the embarrassment. The judge argued that the parents showed very poor judgment and that they essentially handicapped their daughter with a social disability. No arguments here. Number 15. Felony. Melanie's a pretty name, so I bet these parents were trying for something equally sweet with the name Felony. Either that, or they just conceived her in the slammer during a conjugal visit. Either way, saddling your kids with horrible names should be a felony in itself. Number 14. K. 8. Lynn. Pronounced Caitlin. Look, I've already had my rant about bastardized spelling, and there isn't enough blood thinning medication in the world to help me with this one. So I'll simply say that spelling Caitlyn, K-8 in Roman numerals, and then Lynn, is just wrong. Number 13. Rage. A poster on Reddit ran into her ex-boyfriend at a gas station and discovered he had become a father figure to his new girlfriend's son. The little boy name was Rage. That's just when you want when you run into an ex. That commitment-phobic ex has moved on with an absolute crazy person. It makes you feel like you've dodged a bullet. It'd be funny if Rage was a shy little pacifist. Number 12. Placenta. First of all, ooh. second of all, ooh. number 11, your highness. I guess with names like Kingston and Queenie in existence, it wasn't long before some idiot called their child your highness. Still, I don't like it. It makes kind of a mockery of the morally upstanding royal family. That and it just does not sound cool. Number 10, punched. Hopefully these parents received a few of their child's namesake for thinking up this stupid name. Number 9. Khaleesi. 
Yes, Amelia Clark's a babe, and sure, most of us can't wait for Daenerys Targaryen to grace our screens again, but does that really justify naming your child after a freaking Game of Thrones character? Lord of the Rings was similarly a massive cultural phenomenon, but as far as I know, we don't have kids in our society named Frodo, Bilbo, or Gandalf. On the other hand, it would have been cool if one of them had to grow up and run our country. President Gandalf. Dang, that has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Such a missed opportunity. Number 8. Ninja Quest. Nerds can be crazy enthusiastic about pop culture, so when two nerds get together and procreate, chances are they may be tempted to put a name like Ninja Quest. That's with a W, by the way, onto the table. But show a little foresight, parents. You might think the name Ninja Quest is hilarious, but that child is never going to get laid or make any friends or want to go outside. Probably ever. It's a surefire way to make them resent you, and the last thing you want is a pissed off Ninja Quest. Seriously, you'll end up with a die katana to the throat as you sleep. Number 7. Durfla. This derpy name is Alfred Inverted. Apparently Durfla's parents thought she was going to be a boy, so plan to name him after drunk old Uncle Alfred. When she came out with girl parts, the parents had to improvise. Thus, Durfla. Number 6. Buds Chronic. Two potheads called their child Buds Chronic. A future congressman he will not be. Number 5. Winner and Loser. New York Brothers Winner and Loser obviously received the wrong names. Burdened by pressure to excel, Winner fell into a life of petty crime, while his brother, Loser, battled an inherited adversity to graduate college and become a police sergeant. Actually, their life story wouldn't make a pretty cool movie. To make matters worse, their last name was Lane, so Loser would have gotten called Lois Lane. Actually, that's still better than Loser if you think about it. Number 4. Sist. Oh look, another sound effect. Sst is what happens when snake lovers have children. What I want to know is how you're supposed to discipline a child when her name sounds like a whisper. All right, sst, get in the damn room and clean it. Sst. Needless to say, this child would definitely get put in Slytherin. Number three, Rich Will Wank it. Poor Rich Will Wank it. His name sounds like a Craigslist ad. Rich Will Wank it. I heard when he went to a fortune teller, they prophesied he'd be a famous gay porn star. I mean, with that name, what else could he do? Number two, Burger. Last year, five in every one million American babies was named Burger. I wonder if anyone in the delivery room asked if the mother wanted fries with that and a milkshake. Number one, Rusty Cunts. This had to be number one. Imagine calling your child what is probably the most offensive insult anyone could come up with. Although he defied the odds by becoming a pro baseballer, most kids named Rusty Cunts would grow up to be one of two things, a serial killer or a WWF wrestler. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace. Did you enjoy the video? That's fantastic. Did you know we still have a gaming channel? Collaborative. It's for playing at all and come look at us as we play some video games. Like animation? Have some questions about life and the universe you need answered? Come check out Super Planet Dolan. Danger Dolan and I will answer your life questions. Links are down below.